You must be hungry. <laughs> Fuck you. Did you know it takes ten days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just ten days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. Huh. Well, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, we're closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. And it wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. Hmm. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me Not walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough.
get out of here, okay? Only you. Only you. Hey, what about me? What about me? You aren't strong enough. You have to get out of here before it starts again. Follow me. Okay. Study the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. I'm all the way over there. You're not interrupting anything. Wasn't sure you'd come back. But I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer here ran security up at the chalet. Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. Seems the place is being used as a training ground for the Chosen. If you've seen them in action, you know how ruthless they are. You know what Jacob taught them to use for target practice? Live bodies gets their first kill jitters out of the way. These motherfuckers don't value any life that ain't in their cult. And they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. You're gonna kill every chosen you see, and you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. 
Sound good to you? Nothing better than good hunting. Think so. You'll be able to see a lot more stars. Hellfire here. Check it in. Hey, you got a sec? No. No, not at the moment. Can't get it at the moment. All these places that are in here where I am. Um, nowhere near a good, reliable, fast travel point. Oh, yeah. You trying to start shit? I don't think that deputy... This is some nonsense. Yeah, well, I, I want it. When you're right, you're right. Exactly. Uh -huh. by planes or something. But another fast travel. Point. Ugh, I can't wait to see what number six is like. Again, I haven't seen anything. I've looked up anything on it. Uh, Hitting there. Okay. Another fast travel point, always welcome.
Something proved us it brought us to our knees. If our ancestors could see us now, they would be ashamed. They would be sickened, and they would be angry. We have forgotten where we came from. We have forgotten who we are. Do you? all over the goddamn place. What's this state come to? Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead <laughs> stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn peggies ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is, they vote. Now, 
bagheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm Tell not him. saying to murder anyone because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You can take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Another 1,200 away. How much is this worth? 600. Ah, a nice, lovely, close, fast travel point. Here we go, having such a good time, having a ball. Better walk more. Better walk more. I really hope they don't accidentally set off explosives or walk in front of moving vehicles.
cheeseburger. Woo! Now, what was that? Whoa! What the fuck was that? Ah! Uh. Oh my god, down again. What the fuck is going on? Fast travel here and get more ammunition. Up we pop. You did good here. Saved a lot of people. Thanks. Thing is, I know these fuckers. They're like clockwork. The trucks they send to pick up the next bunch of recruits are already on their way. I want to set up a little welcome party when they come through the front gates. We're going to blow those trucks sky high so they'll never use them again. Whatever we do, can't let them get away. Okay. Prepare for the ambush. I 
I'm here and I'm ready to fight. Good. What am I supposed to prepare? I thought that was going to be longer. You want to show you got skill? Then don't uh, use something a fucking toddler can use. Use it, you can only hear it in your phone. Hey there, buddy. Uh, I'm seeing a possible road. Stop. Def, can we talk? Damn, you really dropped off the face of the earth for a while. Place hasn't been the same since you left. Heard Tammy's plan came together. Thanks for clearing up the airwaves. Now we can get folks organized, and more importantly, Get some good tunes cranking through these mountains. Unfortunately, my setup can only handle vinyl, so the selection's a little limited at the moment. But the folks around here have pretty decent taste. So, if you happen to come across any albums, toss them my way. Cool? bang for your buck. Not a lot on there you can't eat. Move. Move. Jesus. Cool. These babies are going on the air pronto. You come across any more? I'll add them to the playlist. Big second set of vinyl crates. Is there any more I can do? Anything? There's clutch, but here. Yeah. I go back here and do clutch, dutch, clutch, dutch, dutchy clutch.
came along when we did. I don't think these people would have lasted much longer. There's not much up there. The Wolf's Den food stores are getting kind of low. We should check in with Chad to see if he's found any food for us. He's the best at finding fresh meat to barbecue. In character revealed. Chad. Okay, well that's gonna take for ages, so I'm gonna end it here. Hope you all enjoyed, smash like, subscribe, comment, and see you all tomorrow for another long one. Okay, bye. I'll do streams, match together of 80 minutes, 2.40ish minute one.